Are you ready to hear the top seven public speaking tips for college students? Let's do this. You're about to deliver your end of the semester final in your public speaking class and you're totally freaking out. Don't worry, I got you. We're gonna talk about seven tips today that are gonna guarantee you an excellent grade and an easy performance. First, write and talk about what you know. So many of us think we need to know more, be more, sound smarter or more important than we actually are. And that's just not true. It's important that you talk about what you know, and it might be skateboarding, cooking, dancing, sign language, singing, anything. Just be clear that it's what you know about. When you are an expert and you know what you're talking about, the nerves move to the side and you can really shine, leading to that shiny A+. Two, practice more than you think you have to rehearse under mild stress, which might be a friend, and then increase that stress, which might be a mentor, and then increase the stress even more, a group of friends. Your body is going to betray you when you get in front of people, so be sure to rehearse that talk over and over and over some more, so that when you think you're done rehearsing, you keep rehearsing. Three, remember the other students want you to win. Your friends are in the room, not your enemies. And guess what? Everyone in that room is feeling the exact same things you are. You're not alone in this. Four, be honest with a mentor about your feelings, about your anxiety. Stage fright and public speaking can be debilitating. Lady Gaga and Kesha are both open and honest about their anxiety. And Carly Simon has such severe stage fright she says that she goes through more than 25 emotions before she goes on stage and that ultimately she loves performing, but there's still anxiety. Sharing this anxiety is going to help, I promise. Five, be mindful of not using so, comma, and um, and you knows. Tape yourself ahead of time and listen back to all of the filler words that you are saying unconsciously so they become conscious. The more you become conscious, the less you will use those words in your talk and in your daily life. Six, focus on your message. It's not about you. Your performance is meant to inspire, educate, entertain, and do not allow your stress and anxiety to upstage your message so that you are nailing that final grade with ease and grace. And seven, finally, take your time. Walk out, take a deep breath and begin. And trust me, if you speed up so that you can hurry up and finish, you will miss out on that precious flow where you are sharing and moving the audience and nailing your final grade so that you can become an excellent public speaker. Write and talk what you know about. Practice more than you think. Remember the other students want you to win. Be honest to your mentor about your anxiety. Be mindful of not using so comma and um, you know. Focus on your message and take your time. Now go get that A plus. Let me know what your biggest takeaways were. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscription button and notification bell so you get access to my latest videos. I am so happy that you're here and will always respond to the comments. Big love.